We have with us now Jamie Geller, a volunteer with Yad Ezra Shulamit, who will talk today about the challenges of delivering food to those in need in the war-torn north. The organization is supplying essential food items to northern residents under fire. Jamie, thank you for joining us. What can you tell us about getting food to people in the north? Well, I can tell you, first of all, we have 60,000 evacuees from the North for almost a year who are refugees in their own country. And now the Home Front Command has contacted Yad Ezra Vashulamit because they intend to evacuate another 16,000 families indefinitely because of the escalation in the North. The North is on fire. I'm here in Israel. I mean, the rocket barrages are going back and forth. It's We're hearing about fatalities. It is so heartbreaking and so challenging. And now we have to feed these 16,000 new families in addition to the current evacuees indefinitely. So the Home Front Command and IDF have turned to Yad Ezra Shalomit, have asked for help with our 15 trucks, our warehouses, and feeding these families. We have taken on to feed 1,000 families indefinitely, but we cannot do that without your help. These are people who have been basically in a semi-state of war for almost a year and now are being uprooted for their home from their homes right before the Jewish holiday of Rosh Hashanah. We cannot leave them hungry. The most basic necessities and needs, food and drinks for people, we must be able to help them and we need your help to do that. Now, how does the war affect food distribution? Well, of course, I mean, we were always, as Yad Ezra Shulami, committed to feeding the poor in Israel. And as you know, last year, since we did something together, together we sent 55,000 food baskets for the holidays. This year, the need is 62,000 food baskets. There is poor, and then there are the new poor, those that have lost their jobs because of the war, who used to be givers just like you and I, and now they need to be on the receiving end. Then, of course, there are the war-torn widows and orphans who have lost their fathers and husbands in battle defending Israel, which is not just defending the state of Israel for the Jewish people that live here, but they're defending Israel on behalf of the Jewish people around the world, and really as a beacon of light and democracy in the Middle East for the entire world. And they are going into their first Rosh Hashanah without their husbands and fathers, how can they go in hungry? And I just feel, I know you and I, if someone would come to us and say, I'm hungry, please help me, we would not be able to turn them away. Please consider me speaking to you now, representing the tens of thousands of poor and new poor and war-torn widows and orphans who need food for every day and for the holidays. How many baskets of food are you planning to give out for the holidays? Well, with your help, because we're completely partners in this, and of course, with God's help, everything is a partnership, all three of us, we hope to give out over 60,000 food baskets, 62,000 to be exact, is everything that people need for the holidays. That's in addition to our regular food distribution. Those are just the holiday baskets. And it's everything that someone would need to be able to make this high holiday of Rosh Hashanah something special and something sweet as they hope and pray for a new sweet year full of good tidings and blessings. So a small food basket is $120, and a larger food basket is $150. I'm asking you to please dig deep. This has not been an easy year, and we're hoping for a better year. Please help people celebrate and welcome the incoming year without empty tables. Now, what can people do to help Israel now in this crisis, additionally? Well, first of all, you can pray. We have said God is great, and with God's help, we will survive and we will win this war. We are in this together. The Jewish people and everyone around the world who's praying for our survival and hoping for the best for us, we appreciate it so much. In addition, please, please donate. Please help us put food on the table for these families, many of which who are celebrating, and I'm going to say that in quotes, the Rosh Hashanah holiday, the new year, without their fathers, without their husbands for the first time as they've fallen in battle. These are new widows and new orphans. These are new poor who were givers just like you and I last year and now due to the war have lost their job and are need to be on the receiving end. So please, together we can get through this, together we can win, together we can survive. Please go ahead and donate $120 for a small basket, $150 for a large basket. We're aiming for 62,000 food baskets this holiday. And of course, the everyday needs to feed all of the poor in Israel and those who are hungry. Please help us. Jamie, thank you so much for your incredible work and for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you.